Hi, I'm here at Homestead today in this wonderful venue in North Yorkshire to bring you some top tips for storytelling for a business. So the aim of storytelling in a business format is to allow your customers, potential customers, to connect with you, to connect with your brand, who you are and what you're truly about. If you do that, there'll be far more of a buy-in as opposed to, ooh, look at this shiny service I offer, look at this nice product I offer, and then you forget about it. If you can connect with people, it means they'll keep coming back for more because they'll be generally interested in what you have to offer. Now, I'm not saying you make up a story or pretend to be someone you are not because that won't last very long. You get someone who can sculpt the story that is going on with your business or in your life. And you might think you don't have a super exciting story to tell. Well, that's where you bring in people with a creative mind to extract that. For example, here at Homestead, when you sit here next to this lovely garden, well, why is there this garden here? We talk about the sustainability, how a lot of the food we've eaten today has come straight from the garden five minutes ago. Here's an example of when I worked with Ricky Feather. So we handcraft cycles based in York. We didn't want to make just an advert showing his bike frames. We wanted to tell who he was, what he was about. Ricky, tell me about you and tell me what you're about. This is titled Workshop in the Walls, which hopefully will allow people to really see what he's about. Link in the description. You may not feel like you've got a story to tell, but let someone with a creative mind have a look at your business, tell them who you are, what you're about, and hopefully they'll be able to extract that for you. What's your story?